A-level results day. It hangs over students at the end of their school days, bringing hope and terror in equal proportions. Will they get the, need, the grades they need for their university place? Or will they be plunged into the turmoil of hunting for an available place in their subject? This year, of course, it's been especially stressful. The virus made it impossible for, for the students to sit their exams, so the results have been decided by a computer algorithm, a set of rules to process information from various sources to come up with results. For some, results have been in line with their expectations and their teachers. Some have done better. Over a quarter of a million have done worse than predicted and found their futures suddenly uncertain. And in schools in deprived areas, there is a higher proportion of those achieving lower grades than expected. Will those students be able to achieve the potential their teachers have seen in them? Our hearts go out to these young people, ending their school days in isolation from one another, facing the stress of living with COVID-19, and now facing choices they did not expect to have to make. Have they been unjustly treated? A common reaction has been to contrast the capacity of computers to assess students with the insight of their teachers who know them as individuals. And this fits into wider patterns in our society where we have become accustomed to the phrase computer says no as a marker of the triumph of, of technology over empathy. And this brings us back to Jesus, talking about God and the ways in which God knows each of us. In Matthew's Gospel we read, Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? Yet not one of them will fall to the ground unnoticed by your father. And even the hairs of your head are all counted. So do not be afraid. You are of more value than many sparrows. Jesus reassures us that God knows us and values each of us individually. God recognises the potential in each one of us and longs for us to be able to live life to the full. In God's sight, no one can be downgraded on the basis of a computer algorithm or put to shame for being who they are. In compassion and love, our God watches over each of us. I will not forget you. See, I have inscribed you on the palms of my hands, as the prophet Isaiah tells us. God knows us and loves us all. God is especially concerned about those who face poverty, hardship and deprivation. And the whole Bible reflects that longing to give proper life chances to those who are on the margins of society. The particular impact of this year's A-level results on students from deprived communities must bring sorrow to God. As people of God, we need to hold fast to God's understanding. People are valuable, whoever they are, whatever they may or may not achieve. Any system that treats people like computer data is getting it wrong, because we are all unique, all God's children, all precious in God's sight. Our worth is rooted in God's love, and nothing can take that away from us. This week, we end with a prayer from the Diocese of Liverpool for those coping with exam results. Father God, may your presence be felt as young people receive exam results. May they know their worth and value is not based on academic achievement, but on your great love for us. Help them to trust in your goodness, fix their eyes firmly on you, and guide their steps along the path before them. Amen.